Well, it's been just over one year since the death of Toledo police officer Brandon Stalker. Tonight, family and friends gathered to celebrate the life of the fallen officer. Chase Bachman is live right now with more. Chase, what are you learning? Kaylee, there's a great energy in here tonight. Normally, the anniversary of a death can be a very sad time, but tonight is about a celebration of life. Tonight, smiles and camaraderie. Friends and family are out to the Wheeling on the Rocks bar to celebrate the life of Toledo police officer Brandon Stalker. Stalker was killed in January of 2021 during an armed standoff. Now, one year later, the people close to Stalker honoring his life and his service to the community. Bar owner and manager Chrissy Antoine was one of the people behind the celebration. Well, we knew the year was coming up. Me and Cosette, um, his mom, we've like really blossomed a friendship through this. Um, and she reached out and said, hey, you know, would it be okay if we did a celebration of life? And I said, absolutely. So I was really proud and honored to be able to do that for her. Stalker's mother, Cosette, says it means a lot for people to come out to remember her son. And I just, you know, I wanted to have people come out and, you know, just have a good time with me and not a sad time because we just did the vigil. And um, and then I wanted it to be here and uh, support her too and, you know, have business for her because she did a benefit for us too and, and helped our, our family and I'd like to help her too. Stalker's mother says the anniversary isn't meant to be a time of sadness. It's meant to be a time of happiness. This is to celebrate his life with him and Brandon, you know, there's got to be a celebration in there with my boy because that's what he's all about too. You know, he likes to have fun, good times. We've had a lot of good times um, together and we like celebrations too. Now at this event, they are selling t-shirts, socks, and some of the proceeds from these items will be going to a variety of local charities. Reporting live in North Toledo, Chase Bachman for WTOL 11.